Okay, everybody. So it's night time. It's night time in real life and in Ticket World, and we're back. I'm back from Eurogamer, and I'm not in the best of moods, I guess. So we're going to play some Ticket because we enjoy it. So I don't know if you guys have seen this. This is just my very simple using the medium, the low voltage arrays, um, to oh, it's all it's all gone to uh, make some rubber. Please tell me I have some space. Oh, I'm not going to have any space on my... <laughs> oh, dear. Let's just put these back in there for now, then. Um, so, yeah, rubber, copper... Oh, open up, copper, copper cables. Also, lots of copper cables in this one. Uh, yeah, we're doing good. We're doing, we're doing all right. How much red matter I've got. Juicy, juicy red matter. In fact, the only thing I've done since uh, I've come back, actually, is... Um, just... Listen to you what you guys said about the red matter uh, down in these things. Oh, hello. Oh, is there a, is there a spawn? Oh, no. Damn it. Missed out on the chance. I also have moved this world anchor because of uh, the fact that it does three chunks. So putting it here should make it absolutely fine. We're make it doing that red matter because red matter, um, because it's fine. Because basically, you know, you could just keep going up with red matter. And, you know, I don't have to extract it. I did. I did actually have this kept to just diamonds, but I have now since changed it also to red matter, and it's going up quite nicely. And what I've done is I don't want to. Let's just see if we can do this now. What I've done is I set this to 2,590 seconds, and that means every 2,590 seconds it'll drag in a red matter, which is plenty of EMC for that. What the feck was that? Well, that was an instinctive flyback. Is there a creeper in there? Um, yes, there is. Okay, come on. Out you come. Just don't explode my stuff, dude. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I think we're okay. Although the cow did seem to take some damage. Right, okay, well, that's not happening again. <laughs> we will be blocking that off. Oh my god, I've got a really itchy head today. <laughs> oh, I anyway, know, that's, that's too much detail that you didn't need to know. Uh, I guess let's just put some blocks here to stop them spawning as opposed to light. That was close, eh? Right. Uh... As long as it's only one high, nothing can spawn, so that should be fine. Let's get our bricks out. Um, do I have enough bricks? No. I do have enough here, here I think, though. There we go, 64. Another thing I want to do is get myself in... Well, I'm going to prepare. This episode's about preparing, because I want to go out and amend my... Um, Oh god, my head is itchy. I've got lots of overclockers, as you can see. Which is why I have all these cables and stuff, because I was just making lots of preparatory stuff. I want to prepare... Um, oh, I want to prepare for building. And today, there'll be a bit of preparatory stuff, and then a cut, and then I'll be building some stuff, basically. Also, by the way, I was searching red matter so I could... Oh, you've got to be fucking kidding me. Oh my god. Oh, there must be gaps underneath there, which these creepers are spawning in. Oh. Uh, I wanted to work out the EMC of that so I could work out the calculation. So that's why that's the case. Uh, let's eat some of this chicken. Yum, 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 yum. So yeah, there's a couple of projects I've got lined up to build. Obviously the pot of gold solar panel array. But the thing about that is, is that that can only come after I've made solar panels. High voltage solar panels. So before that, I'm going to make myself a high voltage solar panel factory. So let's go out and amend this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> Those wankers. <laughs> Oh, those absolute wankers. Well, at least they're giving me quite a bit of EMC with all this gold. Hmm. Right, that's a step too far. You can do what you like to me. You can say what you like about me. But you don't touch my pinkie pie. Hmm. Hmm. Right, I shall be cleaning her up. 
and then I'll get back to you guys. So BRB. Okay, so she's fixed. I can't quite remember if she had that sort of running mascara stuff. So I'll have a look at that and make sure we get back down to normal. So we want to amend that. Firefly Garden is still in the thing. Garify. What is this nonsense? Mm, go away. <laughs> but we can use those signs to do our actual thing. Proper power sources. Okay, so. Yeah, that's what we're going to go for. But in order to get that, we need to go for five. Power source factory. Awesome. Um, hmm. Sky location. Damn rain. Do I have my Vulcanite amulet on me? Let's have a look. Yes, I do. Yes. Oh, I thought I lost it there. Yes, I do. Right, come on. Right. Oh, God, that was close to Pinky. <laughs> right, so, as I said, yeah, right. So, we want to do that, and we want to do that, obviously. This is definitely something we need to do as well. We can take this off of the menu now, because we've got it. Uh, that's something else we've got to do. So, let's do this today, and let's prepare to do that. That worked. The rain worked. The rain thing worked, which is good. So, in order to prepare to do that, we need to have a couple of things ready. We're going to need the destruction catalyst to like clear out some land when we get there. So, that's cool. We got that. Let's just put all this nonsense in here. Take the client star back out actually though. Uh and one other thing we're going to want or need is a uh transmutation tablet. Like one of those portable ones. Come on. So where is it? It's this. Right, so we need one a transmutation tablet to begin with. So we need obsidian and stone. I think we've got that. Uh we certainly have some obsidian somewhere. Don't we? Hello. There we go. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. So let's craft this. Oh god, I can't remember. It's almost certainly not this way around. Damn it. I always mess that up. Okay. So we got one of those. And then we need some dark matter. Again, I think I got some dark matter in there. No, I do not. Do I have some in here? Yes. One, two, three, four. Now, I think this actually surprisingly gives us, yes, it gives us four blocks anyway, so we're okay when it comes to the crafting. So here, let's get the Philosopher's Stone back in there. Open the craft bench up. Oh, I need more stone, don't I? Is that what it is? Oh, no. Here we go. Yeah, more stone. One, two, three, four. Oh my god, my head is so itchy. What is up with that? Uh, I think it's like dryness. I've just got. Ugh, anyway, <laughs> that's disgusting. I'm not talking about that. But here we go. Now we have a portable transmutation tablet, which it just works exactly like the other one with the same EMC and everything in it. So it's basically just portable, which is fantastic. And the other thing we're going to need is a bat pack because our chainsaws and stuff. So, no. Um, it's one of these, isn't it? So we need batteries. That's fine. So the batteries are um, f that, that, and that. And how much do we need? Six. We need six batteries. So uh, 12 redstone, six copper cables, and um, uh, 24 tin. Okay, awesome. Actually, just let's use the portable one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, blah, 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 up to 24, by the way. And let's get some redstone. We only need 12. And uh, what else do we need? The cables. We only need 6. And I think that's everything. I don't need those alchemical bags in my hotbar. Or this, actually. So we can put the uh, this back in the hotbar, which is pretty cool. I'll put the red one because it's got the EMC in my hotbar. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna use this, then this, and then this, and we get six batteries. And the bat pack is just that, plus a tin, plus an electronic circuit. I have the electronic circuit somewhere. Oh, they're here, aren't they? Somewhere. There we go. 
And one more tin. Ta-da! Ah, I love transmutation tablets. Um, I cannot remember this, so let's do that. And that, and that. Lucky that these batteries don't need to be charged. The backpack does, though, so let's go run up to our MFE. I think that's an MFE up there, isn't it? Whoop, 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 whoop. Come on. And... Stick this bad boy in. Oh, this should charge pretty quickly. Oh, wow, it takes a lot of power. It takes a lot of power. Got so much rubber. So much rubber right now, which is awesome. Um, what, what, what has a bigger inventory? Is it a diamond chest or an alchemical one? I might look that up whenever I'm next AFK doing stuff. Come on, come on MFE. Do your stuff. Oh, that looks perfectly charged now. Awesome. There we go. How cool do I look? Oh, yeah. Carrying charge on my back. Is that a hole or is that just a... Huh. Oh, no. <laughs> That's good. It's actually a good thing. Right, so let's get our destruction catalyst out and let's go... Actually, no, let's go sleep. Right, I'll just meet you back whenever I've slept. Okay, so during my sleep, I had a couple of thoughts. I had a thought as to what type of... What, I'd love to make this factory look really organic. Make it look as if it was coming out from... Come on, load your pile of junk. Make it look as if it was coming... The stuff was coming from the land, from the trees, in some way. Which I think I've got an idea how to make that happen. Oh, this is a nice space. Ah, let's fly up a bit. I've got an idea. I'll be, get I'll be getting rid of the water, most definitely. But yeah, I think we can do something with this. The reason I'm going to make a factory for these HV arrays, guys, is because I was thinking of having, like, 64, as you know, which is probably way overkill. Um, it might not be 64. I might only make, like, 16 or something. But, um, I've been looking up what it needs to make craft a HV array, and for one HV array, I'm going to need 6,810 rubber, which is, like, a hundred and freaking... Let me see. Let me look at this more specifically. Which is 35 stacks of resin if I'm using an extractor. Um, I need 5,193 refined iron ingots. Which is 81 stacks. I need 32 stacks of tin. 64 of cobble. 24 stacks of glass. 24 stacks of coal dust which needs macerated from the coal. 4 stacks of wooden planks, 48 stacks of redstone, 6 gold ingots, and 1, roughly 6 gold ingots, and 1 diamond for 1 HV solar array. So to craft an HV solar array, the total EMC value of that is 2,623,649. So, yeah, I, I probably have that EMC already. But I kind of want to automate it. I want to make a factory, because that's freaking cool. And I'm going to use this space, and I'm going to... Yeah, I'm building up ideas. So... I will leave it there for now, and when you come back, you'll just get a glimpse of the first stage of the factory. Alright guys, bye!
Okay guys, so you've probably just seen me uh, do a little, I guess you could call it a time lapse of that, of building this. I decided I'm going to go for a real organic feel to this factory. Got some other ideas, I'm going to build an overarching sort of organic large tree structure with uh, leaves for the roof sort of an idea. I'm not going to have it fully closed off, just going to make sure that, you know, when it's raining like this you don't get the rain. And some hanging lights, some hanging lanterns from fences I guess. Um, I also want to create like individual trees for each of the components. So the bit that does the rubber, I'm going to make into like a sort of a rubbery tree out of it. Uh, same with the iron, the refined iron, etc, etc. You get the idea. So yeah, um, I'm going to do a bit of work off camera. Uh, mostly on this tree, for example, and maybe on some of the other components. I'm going to have a play on my single player world for the best sort of format for let's go light this area up otherwise we're going to get some crazy mobs um going to play in creative mode to, see the, to try and work out the best way of doing the um the factory uh i'm going to mess around with red pyre retrievers i think and sorting machines uh although i'm by no means an expert in any of that stuff so it might take a few iterations and yeah hope you've enjoyed the first episode back after your game guys Oh, and um, one thing I wanted to mention is uh, on the on the wall out front um, with my suggestions and stuff. Please feel free to add to in the comments what you think should go onto that wall and what you think I should do next. A kind of a voting system, if you will. Um, all right, guys, let me know what you think of this cops, this cops factory or something, whatever it's going to be called. This little tree cops. Uh, if you have a name for it, let me know as well. All right, guys, see you soon. Bye.